In this video, I almost get ran over by the new Arma Vendetta. But I also show you guys how to fix that yeah, issue when running this car at high speed. Come on. Welcome back to Innovation RC, guys. Today, we're gonna be attempting a triple digit number with the Arma Vendetta, and we're gonna do something stupid. Alrighty guys, so the Arma Vendetta was released a couple weeks ago and I put out a single video in which we hit 74 miles an hour with this thing directly out of the box. Now, if you guys can see by the picture, obviously I can't possibly go any larger. That is actually a 34 tooth pinion gear from Traxxas. And it's also 32 pitch, so it's actually gonna be able to mesh correctly with the transmission housing as well as the spur gear given in the Vendetta. Now, with that gearing, I honestly would not recommend bashing or playing around because let's say you get on the throttle, it's gonna it's gonna cog just because there's so much load on the motor with that gearing. So keep in mind, guys, if you do decide to do speed runs with this car with that tall of a gearing, make sure you only do two or three passes at most you do not want to do anything more than that now really quick guys if you haven't done so be sure to follow innovation rc on instagram we'll have more pictures videos and other cool things on there before it drops on youtube definitely do that on 3s no matter what i did with this taller gearing the ESC wanted to cut off at exactly 78 miles an hour three times in a row after cooling the ESC off and the motor every single time so that just tells me hey it's the ESC it doesn't want to push anything more than 100 amps of power that's completely normal so we have to upgrade now underneath the body guys we actually have the same exact motor so I actually kept the motor I just have adapters running from the motor to a Mamba Monster X Hicks S ESC now that was just a spare ESC that I know that could just handle a little bit higher voltage and a lot more amperage you could actually top this thing out at like 200 plus amps that's actually as much as a max 5 with it taking about half the space of what that max 5 would actually do so why not it fits perfectly in the vendetta yes yeah, so it is kind of ratchet looking but then again this esc has been in my arsenal for like eight years and unfortunately the fan mount actually broke off so i had to really compensate by using my uh handy dandies hip ties over here and honestly it works so why not the firma can't handle more than 3s but we actually have a 4s battery out here today uh so as you guys can see we have our 3s over here and literally the same exact battery but one more cell stacked up on top we have our 4s you guys could see the thickness difference it's really just the same exact battery that i've had with an ic5 for quite a while now and i really hope everything goes well we're gonna see what it's gonna be like with the higher gearing on 3s first and then after if everything goes well we're gonna hit it with a 4s test run uh fingers crossed now if you guys can see over here we actually have tie rods in the front now no you don't need them but you got to consider when you have downforce pushing on a beautiful body like this these tie rods are going to actually lock the front end in a certain position where i want for my road now on top of the front suspension i actually focused on the rear as well obviously when there's more downforce in the rear the higher up in speed you go it's actually going to push the rear end down lifting the front end up hence why the rear is stiffened now talking about that if you guys have not noticed yet you're going to see the wing is actually propped up actually pretty hefty now why do we do that well for one i actually need a downforce later on in this video and this video is going to perfectly explain and you guys are going to see my pure excitement on how well this just flat out worked undid one of the screws right there and i actually locked them in place as hard as i could go without stripping the bolt inside with the lock nut additionally with the other side and it's actually pushed up because the rear end gets loose and what well i'm not going to explain anymore i'm going to have the video do the explaining for itself make sure you like and subscribe i really appreciate all the support throughout the years and i really appreciate all the upcoming followers as well i really really thank you guys Alrighty, guys i'm boring myself with all this talk let's get running Alrighty, guys here's going to be our 3s pass we're all zeroed out don't know why there's a radio glitch i'm gonna give her a little boost It's all over the road. See what that was though? 73 and we were still gaining a lot. All right, we're all zeroed out. All right, here we come.
Whoa. It is very unstable. Holy Christmas. That went right under my legs. Extremely unstable. We need a lot more downforce in the rear. Note taken. Two notes taken. Ten notes taken. Guys, you gotta run downforce in this thing. See what that was. This it almost kills me. Nice. 86 miles an hour, and we barely held open full throttle. That is a really good speed. 86 miles an hour, and that's on 3S. And there's our 3S battery. Here's our balance plug, a balance lead. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3S. 3S in there. ESC really isn't that hot, to be honest. Uh, motor, on the other hand, the motor's warm, but it's also not hot. Um, I've been really trying to be more so lenient when it comes to um, braking because, yes, it's a smaller motor than what we normally run out here. Um, so when I want to hit the brakes, which generates a lot more heat, I'm just trying to let off and allowing the car to coast a little bit because, again, we're not doing 150, so we don't need to jam the brakes. So we're doing, let's say, 100 mile an hour runs, but then again, we're going to see what we can do on 4S. Alrighty guys, here we go. We're gonna be running the Vendetta on 4S now. Hopefully everything goes well. All right, here we come. Yes, there we go. Come on. Just what I wanted. Perfect pass. That downforce made a huge difference. And I felt incredibly safe at full throttle too. That was it. That, that was it guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add this in video, time lapse coming back, but that was definitely it. I am so excited. Let's see what that was. 100 miles an hour on the dot, guys. Look at that. 100. ESC is throwing codes like no tomorrow, but hey. Actually, what I'm gonna do before we even check the temperature, look what I noticed, guys. See the body? Well, apparently, the tires flexed enough to where it's actually hitting the body. So that means, yes, the downforce worked because it's pushing on the body, obviously. But, um, well, there is a drawback. It definitely feathered the tires. It's really hard to see, but center it's smooth, but on the outside it's, you know, feathering. Same thing with this side. Now, as for the front, we're okay because we didn't add any kind of downforce in the front. Let's take this battery out. We have our 4S uh, CNHL. Now, this isn't a crazy, crazy amp-hungry battery. It's just a spare 3S that I had with an IC5 plug on. So when we really want to get some serious numbers, we're going to be going up to the G Plus series or the 90C racing series as well. I am actually pretty surprised this motor in particular did not throw a bearing running a 4S under a hell of a lot of load <laughs> with the gearing that we're running on 4S. That's incredible. I am really, really surprised. And I did not expect this outcome right now. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna say this again. Please don't let me influence you to run this car on higher voltage than what it's really intended for. Yes, even if you do run a correct ESC that can handle the voltage, please acknowledge that if you do run the stock motor, it's still gonna be responsible for any damages done to it and it's gonna avoid warranty. So just please know that. And if everything pans out on your end, Hell yeah, that's good. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're just about done here. Make sure you like and subscribe this video for more. We're gonna have a lot more cool things that are actually gonna come out regarding this vehicle and additionally some new ones as well. Definitely do so. So as always guys, make sure you stay safe and have a good one.